Ok, let's see what I have just discovered. I have to take the drill chuck away and then I can put here this circular saw cutting disc. But what I discovered when assembling the pieces of the cutting disc is that the disc should be perfectly perpendicular to the axis. Here it is perpendicular. But let's pay attention to the washers to the sides of the cutting disc. Those washers are not the same thick all around the washers. Can you see how the thickness of those washers change? Ok, here we can see that red mark. And it is in the zero position, so the disc is perpendicular to the axis. Now I move the mark away from the zero position. I must make sure that the back washers fit. Ok, here we can see the zero position. And the red mark is far away. And here is the magic. The disc now tilts to the right. And now tilts to the left. So I have a wobble wheel or a wobble dado blade. So here we have the zero position, and here the maximum position. I move the mark to the maximum position. Like this, it will cut the widest they do. Here we can see it mounted in the vintage drill powered table saw. I will try it, but I will not feel comfortable using it. I wonder if this can cause more kickback than an usual disc or an straight dado set.
To see all the drill powered attachments, you can follow the link in the description. In another videos, I will show them in detail. Thanks for watching, and if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get the notifications when I upload new videos.